What's up? This your boy, Soldier Boy. Make sure y'all check out my boy, Pookie, man. And Ray Ray really in that dance challenge videos on TikTok, man. Song 5, man. Check him out ASAP, man. Check out my main man, Alan Ray in that YouTube channel. Let's get it. Alan Brilliant there, that's my guy, man. He's a trophy, he wasn't lying, man. Like, really works. I ain't gonna put you on. You gotta do what I did to get on, but definitely gonna get them gains. You might have to tuck your jump off under your belt by your belly button because you're gonna be walking around with a heart on. <sighs> he wasn't lying, bro. Definitely works. Go check my man out, Alan Brilliant there. One. Hey guys, I've been getting emails about uh, guys that took my hand bone remedy uh, that it's working for them as well. You know, I originally told you guys it was working for me, but it's working for guys from all over the world. So hurry up and message me on Instagram at Alan Ray and that show if you want that remedy. It's good for your overall health as well, as well as your hand bone, your dick, so you can dick and grow and be strong and healthy and you can please the woman you love. Alan Ray and that show on Instagram. I never knew it was something really out here that can actually make your dick a little bigger and your your dick thicker. I mean, I never, I just never could understand. I never could fathom something that really can do that. I've been eating this shit, man, from the store every day, and I just happen to like it. But I didn't realize that. I said, man, why the fuck is all it? My stomach getting flatter and unnecessary fat that I had on my body is disappearing and I noticed that my dick got longer and my dick got thicker what the fuck going on here I started thinking what have I been doing different come to find out it's that shit I've been eating if you want to know what I've been eating message me it's $20 message me on Instagram at Allery in that show alright and I tell you this shit is wild man your mind, heart, and personality don't mean shit if you ain't got no money. If you ain't got no money, you'd be the best person on earth, the wisest person on earth. And people be like, man, he, he making sense, but I don't know why I just don't value it. <laughs> you can say kibbles and bits if you if somebody know you're a millionaire. And they'll be like, man, kibbles and bits, that's some deep shit. Kibbles and bits. You know... In this world, people force themselves to suck your hand bone, to lick your backside, and uh, do all kinds of stuff when you got money, man. This world has uh, has really sold their soul for the money directly and indirectly. It's people who sold their souls on different levels. That's selling your soul. That is satanic. Marrying somebody for money and getting with somebody for security is satanic. You know, as human beings, we're the most... We're the most unrealistic, unreasonable, and superficial, and non-common sense creatures out of all the animals and out of all creation at this, at this level in our history. You know, we fight over black and white, or short and tall, rich and poor. We are, we are in, a, in, a, in a bad position, and the devil is smiling. But your personality don't mean too much. Looks don't even mean too much nowadays. Damn near. Looks mean you got to be almost. You got to look angelic nowadays. You got to be a model times 100. You know, to be perfect teeth, perfect skin. You got to be an uh You have to be a uh, pe peculiar looking. You have to have peculiar beauty. Extraordinary beauty. Enhancing this for your looks to matter because nowadays people see the best in you only when you got money. When they know you got money or people giving you attention, see, money brings attention. Money brings power and need over other people. Everybody needs food and it's that thing we call paper. That thing we call money. It provides these things. It provides your lights getting on, your cell phone to keep working. It provides these type of things. So money brings need from others. 
so it makes people be around you. It makes people laugh at your joke and suck on your toenails, suck the dirt out your toenails. Uh, make people marry you, want to have your baby, want to say they love you, force themselves to love you for a short period of time until they get their hands on your money. They get $20,000 or more of child support a month, um, alimony, fake guys, fake friends, whether you're male or female. Um, people, first thing people ask you is what you do for a living when you meet them. Most people, and most people are fake. They are fucking fake. So what they're going to do is ask you what you do for a living. After they ask you what you do for a living, they're going to Google you or size you up and based on that, how much they're going to answer your call, how much they're going to laugh at your joke, if they're going to suck your hand bone, if they're going to bend over and spread their butt cheeks for you. These are the things people do when you got money. When you got money or your you're you affiliated with money. You're affiliated with money. You could be broke, but your cousin is Kevin Durant. You know, your cousin is Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. You know, you can just be affiliated. That's like having money. Because if everything free, shit, it's just like having money. It's like being rich. But personality is worth more than money. Because if everybody like you, everything going to be free anyway. Everything gonna be free, bro. If people really like you, they'll make a way for you to whatever they have control of. They'll make a way for them to, um, you know, be able to help you in. I own a car dealership. I'm gonna find a way out to get you a car. I'm gonna give you the best. I'm gonna know friends that know friends that know friends. We're gonna get you a car. Everything free when everybody like you. If nobody like you, you're gonna have to have a lot of money. You're going to have to have direct money. You want your own money anyway. But in this world, man, people only respect your personality, your good heart, your wisdom, your conversation. All that shit only matter when you have money. Unless somebody want to control you. You have a group of individuals out here that want to control the motherfucker when you're broke. So they don't mind you being broke because they want to have... They know you ain't going too far. Some people like broke people because that's an insurance to know that you ain't going nowhere. They think you ain't going nowhere. You know, so they feel like you can't go too far because you need them. So that's why you see a lot of women with money with broke dudes who just got out of jail or something or just, you know, they just fucking them. You know, that's how you see it. That's how it go, man. That's how it go. Your mind, your your sense of humor, your belief in Jesus, your belief in Jesus, your belief in your belief in your belief in whatever, your good heart, your your love for humanity, all that shit don't matter, man. If you ain't got money, if you ain't got money, they base their worth, they sizing you up. People always sizing you up. They're looking at how people respond to you. They're looking at how people, you know, respond to your words. If your words got weight, if they just brush that shit off, if you insignificant. They're looking at how people respect you. They're looking at how people respect you, all that shit. This world is some fake motherfuckers. That's how you want to smack some of them fake demons. But you can't get mad at them. They've allowed themselves... They've allowed themselves to uh, get infiltrated by the world, by the devil, by the, by the lust. So you be smacking everybody. You fake mother. You fake mother. You fake motherfucker. You'll be smacking everybody. Because the demon can skip. Soon when you smack that person, that demon going to skip into a thousand other motherfuckers. So it's, you can't fight. It's not a fight between flesh and blood. It's a spiritual warfare. And the devil doing a good job snatching them souls. People get married every day for money. Even if they're born into money, they want somebody else born into money. But then they cheating on each other. Another one, this person can't have a baby. She go out to this guy who can have a baby. She not sucking dick. So she, he goes somewhere else that the, the, the women sucking, you know, the, 
another woman sucking dick. People ain't never satisfied. It's only, a small portion can blow the whole relationship off. But they're going to get together for money. But that shit ain't going to make them happy. And they ain't going to keep them together. If they do stay together, they're going to be miserable and in the house. But portray to be happy in everybody else's eyes. A lot of fake motherfuckers doing that. So people don't care nothing about Your tears don't mean shit. People will cry all day for a celebrity they never met. And you done took these motherfuckers to the movies and bought them birthday gifts and had long conversations with them and everything. And they won't cry like that. They don't cry like that for you and they know you. But somebody on TV, oh, oh my God. My favorite actor died. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't, I can't breathe. Motherfucker. Women screaming. They don't scream for their husbands like that. They don't scream for their boyfriends like that. Them the niggas that's been around you and spending money on you and listening to all that bullshit you talk. They don't get that type of a greeting. That's the type of greeting. You're supposed to be cheering when your man come in the house. Go, go, go. You're supposed to have them pom-poms, a tennis dress. You're supposed, supposed to be your man number one fan. If not, why the fuck are you with him? Must be the money. Making him trip must be the money. Must be the money. Making her fake. Fake smiles. Fake booty and tits. Fake. <laughs> don't get me started. Anyway, y'all know I'm Alan Williams, the real you man. Uh, if y'all know about me now, motherfuckers, subscribe. You know about me now. Um, hit that bell. You want to see the next video. Um, watch out for these fake motherfuckers. People don't care about your tears. They don't care about nothing. They worry about that money. Money, they want attention. And money brings attention. And attention brings money. So be real careful. And if you're already born into money or got money, you better be real careful. You better act like you broke to these motherfuckers, man. I know it's hard, to, it's hard to hide money because you got people who got money detectors. They can they 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 know how certain colognes smell. They know about name brands. They look at your. They know how to read your body language. They know how people with money act. If you ain't been complaining about your bills and your phone stay on and you always eating what the fuck you want and, and your clothes stay fresh and your house got the updated shit. You got updated TVs and devices and shit. They know you. You even got a. A lot of money or you at least got your money right. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful how to. Um, it's hard to hide money when you got a certain amount of money. It's hard. But if you can convince them motherfuckers that you ain't got a lot of money. And you do. Then you can see how they really think about you. Other than that, you never going to know how a motherfucker really think about you. Until they think you ain't got shit. I'm Alan Williams, the reading there. Let that sizzle in your spirit for a second. Shout out to my man, Country Wayne.